Your boy made a mistake. I've been watching Devil Man Cry Baby all day and I forgot to actually record a video. So we're gonna try and get two done right now, be able to pump out today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna plan to put up about three or four. So we're gonna be good for now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. And today we're here to do more of Spiritual Awakening. This is probably gonna be one of my close to last videos on the showcases for now. I actually want to move over to Death Awakening again after these kind, of, these kind of videos, but I actually want to go ahead and record a few things out of this game still before we make the change back over after we kind of went over some characters that people care about. Here's the thing. I haven't logged in today, so I have to actually get my dailies done real quick. J just, just real quick right now to be able to get this done, and then we're going to go ahead and do the showcase on the man, the legend, Ikaku Madarame. I'm happy about this, actually, because I think he's going to be quite good. Um, I do want to start training him up at some point, however, or use my first priority with that, so unfortunately, Kaku will have to wait. But I will get him up eventually. It does seem like he'll be earlier than Uryu, because I actually have more of his soul shards. But at the same time, these red orbs are so hard, or blood orbs are so hard to come by, that it's just not worth it right now. So, we'll leave it for now, and here we are for this flash sale. Oh, fuck. Damn it, I need those blood orbs. I I need those, and it's already sold out, I guess. Well, I got more ten shin ties, so actually I'll be able to once I get enough of the stuff, I'll be able to actually get him up. I just need these fucking blood orbs that don't exist anywhere ever. But it's just good to know that I can get that in the future. They are on the roulette, so I actually could do the hmm. I could do this real quick to be able to get them to see if I can actually get that off soon. But for now, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and do the showcase now. So the main purpose of this is to show off his change. So at rank 14 inside this version, as well as Soul Awakening, as well as in Death Awakening, I think it's rank 12, he gets his Bonkai. His Bonkai changes a lot of his attacks. So his first turns into a dash forward, which stuns the enemies, and gets him 20% attack up, which is insane, especially when you're trying to start it inside a combo. It just does really, really well. Dragon Flood is a swing upwards, which knocks him into the air to be able to get more combos done. And his third is the spin around until the dragon heats up, and then he smashes down on the ground. This one I find is really, really shitty. But in terms of a combo, if you're trying to get the kill, it does work out pretty decent. Your boy fucked up and forgot to record the part where I showed the Kitos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Ikaku, rank 14. All his Kitos are as follows. Attack up for all characters, fantastic. Each, was it, I think this is level 75 one? What it, or what it is, is each target hit has a chance, wait, has a chance to gain 10% crit rate and crit damage for, wait, crit damage plus 10% and effect lasts for seven seconds. Basically, you hit, there's a 10% chance of it increasing damage? Question mark? I think that's what it is. Endurance up plus 200, 2,000, rather, that's good. Um, all characters, nine, plus 9,000 HP, that's good. Crit rate, or crit, plus 12%, good for trying to get the most damage done as possible. Falling down, defense 50%, same thing as most people have at that point. Uh, defense up, kind of shitty actually, because it's only 400, it's not that great. Any hit grants attack plus 7% for 2 seconds. Incredible for the initial trying to push down the enemies and destroy them. Attack plus 480, and any hit grants attack... Um, plus 2,508 for 6 seconds. So basically, anytime he hits someone, he gains a bunch of attack. He is fantastic in terms of Kidos. If only at higher defense. Keep on watching. I have hiccups. So we will see here how it goes. Um, I'm trying to think what to do. I'm actually... So PvP isn't really a good idea right now. What we're going to do is Memory Path for a little while, and then we're going to see um, beyond that what we end up getting. So Ikaku come through. I think the build we have already is probably pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just do this for now, because honestly it doesn't matter that much, and I think the thing with Orihime shouldn't be too big of a deal, because honestly, Orihime is kind of just kind of easy to kill, let's be honest. Obviously we're dealing with like uh, Panty Rukia and Chad and all that, but who cares, honestly. Wow. That was fast. 
That was, he seems to be really good at taking out bosses. I will, I'll admit you that, that he seems to do a lot of fucking damage on a boss. I expected him to do, do really shittily, actually, because I've seen that Soul Trial, he's not the best, but obviously I'm fighting Aizens in Soul Trial, versus here I'm facing just normal enemies. Normal enemies, they get fucked really easily. Dude. He's actually beautiful for PvE. Holy shit, dude. Maybe I should try him against the Ukiora level. Actually, might be cool. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that after this. I think. I think it's gonna be nice. So we'll check that out. But yeah. So I've been watching Devilman Crybaby all today, and that shit's a fucking great series. Obviously, it's not for the faint of heart. And if you get uncomfortable at the idea of sexual content, don't watch it. Because obviously, that is a thing that people are complaining about. Because it actually is very, very heavy in that content. However, I personally am not especially against it. And I find it to be very... It's not entirely based on... How do I phrase this? It's not entirely based on just the idea of the sexual content. It also has a story that actually matters behind it. And actually tells a story that people can't really tell otherwise. So I think it is very interesting. We're going to use Genryu Science on Getsu. We're going to check how much damage we can do to this Ukiora right now. And we're going to see if he actually is a good choice against this. He actually might be. All right, so let's check the damage. We'll do first, second, third. First, second, I missed. Third, that did nothing. And of course, I'm taking a bunch of damage and he's above me and I'm fucking getting destroyed. Well, um, if you hit, he's pretty good, but if you don't hit, the game lags and breaks. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and die, and we'll realize that perhaps against a level where you have to put in more effort and have more combos, Ikaku isn't the best. Um, so it appears that he's mostly based on just trying to get that quick, quick damage in, but not for the long con, you know? Which makes sense, honestly. He's not really a long-term battle character in general. He's more of a... Oh, hey, Moe, I'm going to punch you continuously until we end up winning. Or he is a... Oh, hey, Edorad, I'm going to just fucking hit you with my Bonkai real quick and you lose. E easy. Actually, did he beat Edorad easily? Because I, bl I believe Edorad did his resurrection and then, like, kind of fucked up Ikaku a little bit, even his Bonkai form. And, like, Ikaku never got to use his Bonkai again after that, so it was kind of, like, sad. I don't actually remember, like, beyond that. I know he... I know Ikaku uses his Bonkai when he fights in the Regai filler, however, fillers aren't canon, and for the rest of the series beyond the Orankar invasion arc, Ikaku never uses his Bonkai ever. Actually, where was Ikaku during the Battle for Karakura Town? I don't entirely remember. So logically, he would, he would have been healed because Toshiro was healed. Where was Ikaku, Yumichika, um... And like all of the other lieutenants like that, that weren't Rangiku or Shuhei or anything like that. But we're gonna check this. We're gonna check this real quick because I actually want to learn about Ikaku. So, Ikaku Madarame. X Reader. Nope. Passing on that. Thanks for that though. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. He constantly smiles when he when he fights. That's cool. He's in the Bound Arc. Cool. Just great. Karakura Town. He gets destroyed by Chow, actually. He gets beaten by Chow super easily. Okay. Um, inside Karachikura Town arc, he doesn't even show up. Okay. He appears in the Lost Substitute Shinigami arc. Eh. And yeah, he just he just isn't inside the... Hmm. That's really weird. I'm looking here. I don't see a single thing talking about him... Oh no, the, the fake Harakura Town arc is the one where he was beaten by Choe. He just got fucked up super hard and got, like, shown up by Kuwamura. Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry, Ikaku, you deserve so much better. Holy shit, dude. At least inside this game, you're kind of... Alright. For early game. Obviously, late game, he's kind of shit until I upgrade his special training. Or super training to, like, next tier. Four Star, he actually might be one of the best characters. Um, because he does have the potential to actually do really well. 
The issue is he just doesn't have that driving force of like damage, or he's a glass can he's a glass cannon. He takes a lot of damage whenever he fights. So he has the highest attack power in the game, but obviously he doesn't make up for it because he dies super fast. So if he did have higher defense from super training him up, he actually might be one of the best. But obviously I can't really decide on that now because I don't fucking know. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Except that it's gone. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. So I actually kinda want if I if I had the choice, I would get Gein special training up because I or super training up because I believe that he could be one of the best. But you know. Fuck me. Uh what we will do here. Does Purgatory have Ikaku available? A good question. It does not. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to show off Ikaku's Bonkai here in this screen. Well, this is gonna be a little bit weird, isn't it? Well, we'll okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with Ikaku in the front, then the two Aizens. I do wanna do a team with like Zaraki and uh, like Yumi Shika, but they're gonna lose very easily, and I don't feel like losing right now. I wanna see if he can actually win this with higher power, so. Let's see what Ikaku can do. We're gonna be watching just him. What he has to do is he has to do his first, and then try and get his third off as soon as possible. His first will stun the entire enemy team and potentially get us the win. So let's see this. He got caught by Hokyoku Aizen's first and didn't do any damage. However, he appears to be doing a little bit of work. He did a couple of normal combos there. And... Okay, so we're gonna check how much damage that was from Ikaku, because I honestly couldn't see the screen for the most part. Um, which is a bit sad, but we'll see. Ikaku did 21%. Just pretty low, and honestly is a lot worse than anyone else. However, he did, more, did do more damage than Ryatsu we have, which actually is pretty good. In terms of DPS, if you out-damage the, the Ryatsu, it actually is a really good sign. Despite it being a little bit weird. Um, so actually, we'll take that. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think, like, what else? If, if Ikaku was inside a, a build that was purely based on trying to distract the enemy team while you fight, might be the best bet. Um, so what if we go ahead and do Hokyoku Aizen and Ukiora? This Hokyoku Aizen's third will catch the entire enemy team and keep them in place, while Ukiora has constant invincibility that stuns the screen. Byakuya also... Actually, Byakuya's gonna be better than Ukiora. And we're going to try and see how this works. The entire thing is I'm trying to get the most DPS out of Ikaku. And I think stunning the enemy team and being able to get the most damage off like that is our best bet. So let's see this. It's going to be challenging, but we'll see. He started off with normal combos. That That's going to make us lose. Because uh, that's not good. However, it appears that our Hokyoku Aizen is actually going to fight them alone and actually get pretty good DPS off. Why? Why? Like, actually, why? If I win this. If I win this. Oh my god. No, I have to lose. There's, there's no fucking way. This is not happening. Come on. Oh my god. Did I just accidentally win against the guy I've been facing pretty often? Just 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 by having Hokyoku Aizen solo the entire enemy team. Look at this damage. Look at look at this fucking damage. 75% from Hokyoku Aizen. 0% from Ikaku. 0% from Byakuya. 25% from the Ryatsu. If you need any better reason to invest in Hokyoku Aizen. Why? Cause uh Hokyoku Aizen just soloed a level 80 Hokyoku Aizen, Aizen, and Byakuya rank 14 team, of which had 800,000 power. Alone. Completely alone. This turned from a showcase on Ikaku to why you should invest in Hokyoku Aizen. Fuck man. Holy shit, dude. Okay, well, that's a thing, I suppose. But, but yeah, the main purpose was to be like, hey, Ikaku's pretty good. 
What I will show off here is inside Soul Trial. Uh, the main strategy I've been seeing that people talk about is what you do is you toss out your shittiest character, toss them in the, in the first position, and then you use them, have them die, and then switch to Kaku afterwards. I find against Aizen it's not very good, but we'll see here. Uh, I'm just... My throat is dry right now, so obviously drinking Coke isn't a, isn't a very good bet for it, but it's okay. Mark can do very much damage here with uh, our good old pal Full Hollow Ichigo, but obviously stepping on the enemy is always fun, so. We're just gonna go ahead and run away. Nope, nope, we are dead. Okay. Now our main purpose is going to be a swap to Ikaku. He's behind us, though, so we have to, like, turn around. Okay. 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 Oh, no! He's healing! Fuck! He survived! He survived. He survived. So Ikaku was roughly about, like, a small sliver off of actually getting the kill there. But it didn't happen. Because fuck. Well, at least Yamamoto was able to get the kill. That's so sad, man. But hey, I Ikaku is a good character. However, I strongly, 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 strongly do not believe that in Spiritual Awakening or Soul Awakening that Ikaku is worth investing in. Because, just as a character, rank 14 is a really far stretch to actually go. Plus, in order to make him actually worth it, character to be able to use in PvP, you have to special super training him up as well. Meaning you have to do double investments on him. Also, his weapon is nearly impossible to get. And he's not that great in power anyway, so far. Obviously, we'll see him get a little bit stronger here soon. But I still don't think he's going to be very good, even when I upgrade him. He'll probably be just above Kaname um, as a two-star. So, not sure about that. But we will see in the future when I end up getting super training to increase, but for now, I will say do not invest in Ikaku until, um, until other stuff. Uh, basically, don't invest in him until you end up getting, um, until you end up getting Death Awakening and get him there, because fuck it. Invest in Yamamoto, invest in Byakuya, invest in anyone else. Just not him. Just not him.